Hi, welcome back to tutorial 48. And uh, a few moments ago, we just calculated some uh, y, some xy, as well as some x and some xx. So the final thing we need to do is just uh, calculate the slope and the intercept. And uh, I've already uh, typed that in, so I'm just going to paste it here and just go through that. So m is equal to numbars times some xy minus some x times some y divided by some bars times or numbars times some xx minus square of some x and then c is equal to some y minus open brackets m times some x close brackets divided by numbars and uh, just put a little print statement there so I'm just going to verify this and uh, if we go to the chart and look at the output bar uh, we should see the the values uh, m of 0.1939 and c of 1060.933 and uh, if we just go back to the chart or rather to the spreadsheet you'll see that we've got the same values there so uh, it calculates perfectly which is uh, which is excellent uh, one thing that you would notice here is that it actually um, this thing seems to be calculated twice and the first one is a sort of uh, meaningless thing and that is because for this uh, particular show me study um, I have got it set up such that um, if we just go to view or rather um, format analysis techniques and uh, click on double click on this and uh, you'll see that um, we've got the uh, the maximum number of bars study will reference as auto detect so what actually happens is TradeStation runs the program twice the first one to try and calculate the maximum number of bars that it will need to study and then it goes through again if we change that to manual and we automatically or rather we set it manually to a certain number of bars then we would not see that happening twice so um, that's great and um, the final thing we need to do is is just go through and calc uh, actually draw a line representing the uh, the line that we just calculated. So we're going to do that right here. We're just going to go value two. We're going to use uh, TL new, which I'm sure you've seen me use on numerous occasions. So uh, first of all, D is going to be num bars minus one because this is the oldest bar which happens to be uh, the date nine bars ago remember the current bar is zero and uh, similarly for time and the the value of that is going to be y equals mx plus c well in this case x is one so we're going to just say m plus underscore c and then uh, the current bar D and T and then in this case uh, this is the effectively the tenth bar because we started counting in our program at 1 so this is going to be 10 times M plus the Y intercept C so we're just going to close the bracket there semicolon F3 to verify and uh, if we just go back to the chart we should now see a line applied here which uh, is exactly the same as the one that we looked at initially um, you, uh, on the Photoshop version of this chart. So anyway I uh, hope um, that was useful if you're not part of our email mailing list then please go to markplex.com and uh, I'll be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or programs. Thanks very much.